Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to Vivex Kitchen. So before we start today, let me show you what we are going to do. Let's see if I can increase this one. This one. More reddish. Alright, so if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends who are interested in visual effects. We are just here to share some knowledge. So today we are going to talk about Embergen. Uh, Embergen is a software for real-time um, volumetric simulations, like uh, explosions or smoke or dust. The cool thing about it is that it works in real-time, so it doesn't take much time to um, process the simulation, unlike in Houdini and stuff. And it's mainly targeting games and recently started to look into visual effects industry, which is cool. Um, I gave it a try, it looks pretty neat. And now we can also export the value metrics as OpenVDB, so you can easily import inside Blender or any other software. Uh, worth mentioning, um, the pricing for Embergen is quite reasonable. Um, that's a good thing and it gives the potential to be like a game changer in the industry. Right now it's still in its beta and you can get a 14 days trial. So let me show you real quick how we can get it. You just go here, write Embergen the first result and here you can see you have the free trial it's like two weeks trial um, but you access most of the features in the in the application um, I think Embergen started since 2019 so it's pretty new and um, I saw the developer profile I guess it's like he's really into doing the real-time stuff uh, with volumetrics and fluids and uh, I just hope that he can reach a point where it's a real product people can use and not just giving up and giving to one of the BFX Goro companies to continue because most of the time they are not going to do it as good as he used to work on it. So yeah, you just download it, you get um, a zip file, you just unzip it and then you have some information here. Yeah, of course, the readme is talking about um, some issues with the laptop version, like if you just download on your laptop and stuff. But we're talking again about real-time FX. And of course, not many people would try it on laptops, I guess. But yeah, so you just installed like any regular software. And here you go. So that's a very basic simulation. Comes right away. And if you check the GPU here, can see it's like okay it's 50 now that's fine but uh, it's also shipped with some presets which is pretty cool I tried some of them they look nice and uh, I think the nice one for me was the crazy rocket because it's really eating the GPU which makes me happy so you can see this and you can see the GPU is like going almost 100 and I'm running it on RTX 2070 uh, super so yeah um, I'm not going to dive deep into how to create a simulation itself. Um, I would rather care about how we can export the data from this software and get it inside Blender to work. Um, so I just press space to stop. What you need to do is like grab the simulation node here and export VDP. These are uh, the layers we can export also. We can have the temperature, we can have the density and flames and so on. Uh, and that's where is the output folder. Uh, I don't know why it's not responding. Give me a second. Ah, cool. So we can just have an export folder here and we can just call it rocket. Okay, so if you play the simulation again, I guess it goes until 150, let's say. So I would make this one 150. That's the maximum frames I want. And I don't know why temperature. Did, ah, here we go. And we just press export, export now. So it would take some time and I might pause the video until it goes back again to work. So it's done here. Uh, I forgot to mention that it's also running a ray tracer here. So that's why you can see a very good high quality uh, simulations in real time. Um, and that's all what we need from Virgin right now. That's fine. Uh, let's jump to Blender and see how we can import this in. So just open Blender. Uh, that's a custom build of Blender, so mind me if I'm hiding some stuff. Um, it's a personal project about creating Blender for cloud. 
Uh, we can discuss it another time. So from here, all what you need to do is press Shift A, go to Volume, Import Open VDB, Ambridge and Beta, Export. So these are the VDB files we exported. I really don't know why in Blender you have to select all the VDB files rather than just like selecting the first one and it should automatically load the rest as it's like sequentially uh, related to the naming convention. But yeah, I'm looking forward to have a Python API actually for Embergen so we can automate this process. Um, so that's how it looks like. Uh, it doesn't look the same as we had at Embergen. So uh, we're going to fix this one right now. So let me hit the grid and all the stuff we have here. That's our simulation. And we can have another... Oh boy, okay. Have a timeline here and we want to get another one for the shader editor. Okay. Uh, we are going to start by changing our renderer to cycles. And we can go for GPU compute because I prefer GPU always. And we're going to create a, a light, like just a basic sunlight with nothing to change in it. But we can play later with a shadow and stuff. And so inside the VDB files, we have uh, the grids, like we have the density, the flames and temperature. Um, in Blender, I prefer to use the, the flames rather than temperature because here temperature looks like it's like an overall um, voxels around the volumetric um, simulation itself. But flames is the only the, the heat that we are getting out of the explosion. So density could play like the smoke and flames could be like the, the you know, this reddish explosion thing. So we are selecting it here. We just create a new shader and it will automatically create a principled uh, volume shader. We switch to the renderer so we can see uh, our volume here. So we're going to take again um, the temperature from the flames grid and we are going to increase uh, the temperature but before we also need to increase this black um, body intensity so this is the red part i'm talking about and if you move further it will show up like this so we can increase the intensity or we increase the temperature so we can go for like 2000 okay and we can also increase the density if you want so it's going to be very thick like this it's more or less like your test about doing shaders and so on. So uh, we can go back again and we play it. Let me see how it looks like. Uh, since I'm having a screen recording, it's really difficult to see it in real time. But uh, OK. Yeah, so far it looks somehow similar. I know the other one had more explosion stuff, but I guess that's more playing with the attribute. Um, let's go back here. Let's see if I can increase this one to maybe 10, more reddish. I can decrease it and see a little bit to 5 maybe. Yeah, so <clears throat> that was it. Um, Embergen is a really cool tool for making like a quick FX. I would say right now with the current state of beta version. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please, if you didn't subscribe to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends who's nerdy about visual effects. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and see you next time. Bye bye. Now, here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'll shoot you right now. Boom, 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 boom.